I made this art print in about four minutes and I'm going to show you how I did it. It looks like Venice, but is it Venice? Hmm, what's going on with the sky and what's going on with the waterway? All will be revealed in this video. Let's go. Okay, I'm just using Photoshop for this walkthrough, but if you're using Affinity Photo or any sort of photo editing software, the idea here is very simple. So once you see it, I'm sure you'll realize you can do it in any photo editing software. First thing I'm gonna do is just grab a picture off of Raw Pixel. And I'm just gonna go in here to my Raw Pixel picture that I grabbed. Might have been off of Pixabay, come to think of it. But anyway, it's a free photo here. And I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger so it just takes up my whole palette. And this is a picture somewhere in Italy. I think it's Milan or Venice and Venice, obviously with the water. Okay, there we go. So I've got the picture now set up. I'm going to place the file. Now here's the kicker. What you want to do is you want to basically take a look at a photograph like this and say, okay, what do we have? We have a sky, we have buildings and we have water. So we have three elements and we can change any of those elements. The easiest thing to change here is the sky and then also the water. So that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to remove the sky basically, and I'm going to just use my magic eraser tool just to chunk off big pieces of it and just make it go away. So I'm just going to do that. I've got the, um, the actual tolerance down pretty low because I don't want to take out by accident any of the buildings. I want to make sure that they're all still there. So this will take a little bit of time. Obviously you'd want to take some time with it, take some care and make sure that your tolerance is set correctly so that you're removing just what you want to remove. I'm going to go pretty quickly here so that you can see it's, first of all, it's an easy technique. And second of all, you can make it look really good if you were to spend a little bit more time than obviously than what I'm doing. We'll just remove that. So now we've got basically a building with no sky. Okay, great. So we're off to the races. That's part one is done. So now what we can do is we can put, and this is the easy art technique, you put water up where the sky is. So you go file, place, you grab some water. So I just picked this image off of, uh, I think it was Pixabay. And I'm just gonna move it up to the top of the picture. And now I'm going to just move it underneath the layer. So now I've got water up top where the sky should be. So even though it kind of looks like sky, it's water. And so it's like, huh, that looks interesting. So now the next part will be to remove the water down below. So again, I'm going to do the same thing, magic eraser tool. I've got the tolerance set pretty low here so that I don't take out the buildings and I can go in here and I can remove a lot of what I need to remove. There we go. Now, again, you'd want to take some more care than what I'm doing here. Obviously you would take your time and you'd go through and you'd make sure that it's a bit more accurate. But for the purposes of this walkthrough, obviously you get the idea. Just gonna make my brush here a tiny bit smaller and I'll just clean up this piece here. Now you can just keep the river as is, but the whole easy art technique here is to make it look different. So somebody recognizes that it's Venice, but is it really Venice? Because it looks a little bit different. So now where the water is, we're going to add in sky. So we're going to flip it. So I've got a picture here of some clouds and that's what I'm going to use now for the actual river. So I'm just going to put that down below here. So here we've got water up above and we've got sky down below. So it's the twist that would make this a pretty you know, neat piece of artwork to hang on your wall because people would look at it and go, huh, that's Venice but it's got clouds for a river and it's got sky for our water for a sky. So I hope you guys found that helpful. This is one of those um, ones that's really fun to do, especially if you find the right photograph, you just flip it and that's it. That's all there is to it. So I hope you guys found that helpful. As always, please do hit that like button and uh, check out this other video, which has some different art techniques that you might find helpful. Thanks a lot for watching.